The Rowan University Laboratory for Educational Robotics is offering a free online workshop to introduce absolute beginners to the basics of LEGO robot programming. This workshop is made possible with support from Google's CS for HS program. The online workshop was developed specifically for K-12 teachers, though it's open to anyone who's interested. The first week of class offers a brief overview of the field of educational robotics in general and LEGO NXT robot in particular. We'll also introduce you to the basic concepts of software, hardware, and programming. This first week of class is suitable for anyone with a computer and an internet connection. After week one, however, you'll need to have access to a LEGO NXT Robotics kit and software to complete all the exercises. Robots are the ultimate digital manipulative to use with your students. Walk into your classroom with a robot and you immediately have everyone's attention. You can integrate robots into your math and science classes to give a new twist to the way you cover your core curriculum. You can also use robots as the focus of your classes on engineering, technology, computer science, and programming. Or consider starting an after-school robotics club to develop some of these skills beyond the classroom. There are even opportunities for your students aged 9 to 14 to form robot teams and participate in regional, national, and international events with other kids. You don't need to know anything about robots or have ever done any programming in order to participate. Don't believe me? Here's what some teachers who've participated in our previous in-person workshops have had to say. When I first saw the advertisement for the robotics workshop, I was a little nervous because I did take a programming class in college um, when I was an undergraduate, and that class was rather hard for me. You know, everybody says about, you know, you need this technological knowledge, this programming knowledge. I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to grasp the concept of programming because I don't have a programming background. Oh, okay, this sounds really cool. I would love to build robots. I would love to use Legos, but my programming, I'm not that good in programming. So I was a little intimidated. And I was wondering how intense it would be. And I was kind of, you know, hoping that I would be able to understand it and not get overwhelmed in the workshop. And I do have a technology background, but I did, would say that that wasn't the most important thing I needed to do this. Um, I did the class, you know, step by step, and everything's fine. It's not hard. It's not like it was when I took it in class. The move forward and move backward, then make the sound. And then after I created that program, I said, oh, I think I can do this. I think it was the organization and you, your ability to just go in and jump into this and learn. It's totally different, you know, there's pictures there, things are in pretty print, you know, it's in a nicer language, it's not like C, C+, anything like that. And it is when you look at it after you're into it, it is very simple. I think what really gave me confidence was the switch. When we programmed the robot, if this isn't happening, this is going to happen. So when we uh, did that program with the switch, that's when I really said, I can, I can really do this. The logic of the programming language and the way that it works, the visual part of it for the kids understanding and even for my understanding because I have no formal programming background, it was very easy. This course focuses on Lego robotics both because of their wide popularity, many schools own them already, as well as the simplicity of the Lego NXT software. Commanding your robot to drive forward and say good job is just a matter of dragging a few program blocks around on the screen. While the course is geared towards the needs of K-12 teachers, it's free and open to anyone who's interested in learning about robot programming. Each week of this five-week online workshop includes a set of short video tutorials where we walk you through the material step by step, self-test questions so you can make sure you understand the material presented, as well as exercises for you to complete. You should expect to spend roughly four to six hours each week watching the videos and doing the exercises. This online workshop covers everything that the novice LEGO robot programmer needs to know, from opening the box and building your first robot, to writing programs that use repetition, events, and conditionals to teach your robot how to do things like draw a square, do a line dance, or use its senses to avoid running into walls or react to loud sounds. It's me becoming the teacher, you know, the coach, as opposed to the teachers, the knowledge dispenser. So that's one of the things I think is really good for them because they're going to need to get to a point where you're self-motivated and you got to go out and get the knowledge for yourself. And I really like that aspect of it. The most valuable thing for students when using the LEGO Robotics, I think, is probably just the intro to STEM. So it gets them going, it gets them thinking, wow, there's people that actually get paid to do this. Maybe I want to do this. They were excited to come to school 
to go to the club. The club is held after school, so in order to go to the club, they had to go to school. It was the first time they actually were in charge of, you know, building a robot and actually programming it. Teachers who demonstrate all of their workshop exercises to a colleague are also eligible to receive a certificate of completion. So go borrow that Lego robot that you've seen your colleague playing with, or find the one that's been gathering dust since your school brought it a couple of years ago and get ready to get started learning about and playing with robots. I look forward to working with you soon.